Success is often not a loud event. It's those silent walks to the gym every single day. It's the silent commute to work every single day. It's the early mornings, late nights, where you grind when everyone else has gone home every single day. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to make any noise. You don't have to groan. You don't have to groan. You don't have to scream. You don't have to yell. What you have to do is get the job done. In the unseen work is where you're trying to create that masterpiece. And that masterpiece is yourself. All that hard work goes in when no one is watching. There's no crowds. There's no cheering sections. All that shit. It's just you against you. And you have this rock, which is yourself. And you go through and you start to just chip away at these rough edges. Every fucking morning, you don't want to get up. You don't want to go for that run. You don't want to go to school. And each day, you fight that urge to stay in bed. But you still fucking get up. You chip away at another rough edge. And over a period of time, you begin to form that masterpiece. When we look at the masters, when we look at the best business people, we say she's gifted, she's smarter than me. She just somehow knows more than me. She's got a better education. She had an easier background. She got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true. The harder I work, the luckier I get. They don't see these motherfuckers, man. What they deal with every fucking day. I'm not good enough. Shouldn't it be here? Shouldn't it be here? Because every day, even though they're fucking the best in the world, that little motherfucker is still in there saying, oh man, we're not good enough. I'm not the strongest guy, I'm not the fastest guy, I'm not the smartest guy, but I will work and I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep, I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed, I will be up getting after it. The masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself, those moments tend to lead to success. But you've got to stop rationalizing, stop making excuses, stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth shall set you free. And the truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. I had to start looking at my life differently. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave it. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not. Why would you work so hard, Les? I've been cheating myself and my family. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. I guarantee you, when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dream, than your goals. And if you're going to make it happen, everything in the world has to become secondary. You've got to become obsessed to the point where people think you're crazy. You discipline yourself every day to do what is required. You sweat, you suffer, you endure, and at the end of it all, you win. It begins right now with no one looking at it. How you hold yourself, how you see yourself. What do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. If today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough.